to pass the current page as the parameter to the update page links which is going to update the next and previous links. Okay, so now that the attributes are updated at the end of the request, we now actually have to create the request. Um, before this, uh, Zen Framework created the function with a post request for us, um, but because uh, this link is out of Zen Framework hands, we have to create our own, and I'm going to call this function get books, which I will assign to all the links. And I'm just going to create a URL that tells that framework which page it must load up from the paginator. And I'm not going into all the detail of how this works, after all this is a Zen Framework tutorial. Um, I will just go over quickly of what's happening later. Alright, so I'm going to explain very quickly how this function works in a little bit, um, but before that I have to assign this function to our links. Whatever happened to my jQuery syntax assistant? Uh, okay, so what I'm doing here is querying for the next link and assigning it a click function get books. for the previous alright, uh, that should be it for now so here is all that's happening um, I'm clicking on the previous or next link it sends a request, a JSON request to that framework it then gives us all of the book data as, as well as the current page. The current page gets sent to the parameter or the update page links uh, which then updates the attributes of the next and the previous so that they are in sync. Okay, so let's look at what looks like in our debugger. i uh, gonna watch the next link. Okay, so notice that once they click the list on my first visit, the next link is page 2 as expected because that's what I put in a, um, in a Zen framework. Let I go into, for example, um, and the next link shows 4, well there's no fourth page but uh, the point is that it works and if I go to previews, uh, note how it shows the second page and uh, next changes to 3 if I press previous again the next changes to 2 because I'm on the first page and that will work for everything else so if I go to end the previous is going to be second page and then the first page Okay, so that's how the attributes have been updated. Uh, the last thing we want to do is to get the page 
numbers to work properly and that's as simple as assigning them a click function so instead of using ajax link in Zen framework that is going to create a massive function for every single page number I am creating just one of them and it's going to propagate to to all other links okay now uh, how is it going to get the attribute well we didn't really set it yet uh, we're going to set the page attribute right here the attributes with refresh and now we have next next previous three one two next beginning and previous all working okay so that's basically it uh, you may also want to update this section here uh, so again, that's done with a simple placeholder. Can do that right around here. Um, the placeholder will be set with an ID. And I'm going to display it in line so it fits. Okay, and we're going to fill that placeholder at the successful completion. Okay, on the first page second page, third page, back to first page. Okay, so that should give you a general idea on how you can mix the front-end and the Zen Framework back-end.